In this tutorial, we'll learn to use Storyline's interactive markers. They work great as labels, buttons, and callouts over images. They're flexible and they're really easy to use. In this example, we have an image and we've placed the markers over the image. Now you'll notice that these markers have a pulsing animation, so that lets me know there's something that I should click on or look at. In this case, when I roll over, I can see a title. And when I click, this particular marker is just going to have text. Now when I come over to this marker and click, you'll notice that this marker has some text and a picture. And when I come to this marker, you'll notice that the marker has a video. So as you can see, you can add text, pictures, and video to your markers. The other thing I'll point out on the markers are, in this particular example, we have the marker, and then this area is called the label. And this label drops down from the bottom here. This label, we notice, comes up. And this label here goes to the side. So as you can see, you can also position the labels based on the layout that works best for you. So let's go ahead and look at this next slide. This will be the practice activity that we work on so that we can learn more about markers. A few things that I want to point out. You'll notice if you look at this marker and this marker, they have different icons. This one has a gavel. This one has a video. You'll also notice that this one has no animation and this one has a swirl animation. So we'll learn to work with the animations. When I roll over this marker, everything opens up at once. So everything opens based on the rollover, and when I roll away, everything closes. And in this case, I can click, and it opens up the video, and I can click, and it closes the video. So this will auto open, and this one is dependent on me clicking. So let's go ahead and start to build this interaction. We'll close the preview. First thing we want to do is insert an image. So go to Insert, Picture. And you should have this Washington DC map image, so select that. Now that we have the image on the screen, the first thing we want to do is label it. So I open up the timeline. It's just a good habit to get into, so I'm going to call this Washington DC, just so I know what it is. And because it's a background image, I'm going to lock it so I don't accidentally move it. So now I have my image here. I'm going to close the timeline for now. And uh, now we need to add a marker. So to add a marker, just go to Insert. Come over here to Interactive Objects, and you can see that we have the Marker option, so we'll select that. And you already have a lot of pre-built markers with icons in them. We're just going to choose the blank one. And I'm just going to click it somewhere here on the screen. Now you'll notice when I place the marker on the screen, the marker is made up of two parts. There's the actual marker, and then there's your label. And inside the label, you can add a title, and then you can also add text, pictures, or video. In this case, we're just going to add text. So let's go ahead and fill out our marker. And I have that placeholder text. You can just copy and paste that in there. Now you can see that we have some text in here. Now in this case, I want to adjust the marker a little. I can play around with the layout of it. So first thing, I probably want to make the text a little larger. So I'm going to select that. And you'll notice it opens up the text editor. So we'll just make this 10 point or 12 point. Well, let's go with 11. So 11 looks good. I'm going to select the title. I may actually make that larger as well. So you can see I have all the text editing options that I want. Um, I may center this. I kind of like them, the text centered in the labels. Now you'll notice I have a lot of blank space here. So you can play around with these anchor points and resize your label. Um, in this case, the sizing probably works fine. I kind of like the margins. I'm going to bring it down to get rid of that space at the bottom. Now one thing I try to avoid is this where you get a scroll bar. If you have a, if you have a lot of text and you get a scroll bar, you might want to rethink how you're creating your markers. But we'll go ahead and do that. That looks pretty good to me. Now what we want to do is test the marker and see how it works. So let's go to Preview. We can see the marker here. It came with an animation, so this is the swirl animation. And when I roll over it, I can see the title. And in this particular case, the marker is waiting for me to click on it. So I click and I get my information. Now one of the problems we have is that the marker is covering up my image. So I'm trying to show the Capitol building and the marker is, showing, is covering up the image. The other thing, I want to move the marker so it's a little closer to the building. And I want to do some formatting. So I'm, I want to go with a uh, real strong contrast on this. So let's go ahead and edit the marker. 
First thing we can do is take this marker and just drag it into better position. Now you can see it's completely covering up the capital. That's okay. Just grab your label and then you can drag it uh, to a layout that makes more sense for you. So this works pretty well for me. Now I want to make the marker black. So I'm just going to come up to Marker Styles. and You can see I can format it like all the other shapes in Storyline. I'm just going to choose black. So now the marker is black. And I want to change my label too. So I want my label to have real strong contrast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here. And we already have some pre-built label structures. So I'm just going to choose that. And I like the really nice dark contrast with the white text. Now I want to put an icon in the marker. We just started with the blank one. But anytime you want to change the icon, just come over here to Change Icon. And since this is where they make laws, we're going to use the gavel icon. And we have that. Now I want to change the animation. So it came with that swirl animation. So I can come up here and you can see I've animate. And we'll just change it to pulse. So this one's going to pulse. And the other thing I want to do is when I roll over the marker, I want everything to show up. So I don't want to click on it. I just want everything to show up when I roll over. So that's one of the options that we have. So we can show all on hover. And let's go ahead and preview this and see what this looks like. Now in this case we can see we have the nice pulse animation. So it's a little bit more subtle. Let's me know that there's something to do on the screen. I can roll over and everything opens and closes. Now let's go ahead and add a different type of marker to the Washington Monument. In this case we're going to make it clickable but we're going to insert a video. So let's go ahead and close this preview. We want to insert a marker here. So let's go to Insert and we'll choose Marker. And we'll just choose the video since we want this one to have a video in it. And I'm going to place it here. And you can see it builds my marker. Now in this case I want it to be black as well. So we have our black marker. On this one I don't want to have any animation. So I'm going to go to Animate and do None. And I want to move the label so it's in better position. And I'll just call this one Washington Monument. And we're not going to add any text in here because we want this to be a video. Now to insert media, I just go up here to Media. When I select that you can see I can insert a picture or video. We're going to choose a video from File. And in your Assets folder you should have a video folder. And go ahead and select the Washington Monument. And we'll insert that. And now you can see that you have a video. Now the video is kind of small so that's okay because you can select it and you can scale it. So the video will scale. You can scale your marker. You can see uh, once you have your marker scaled you can make the video as large as you want it to be. So this is probably a little too large. We'll just keep it like this. Now we do want to change the label. Now to get back to the formatting you can just double click on the marker. And then we'll go back to that label that we had here. So now we've got a dark one. Now with video, you may want to insert a play bar. I like to have play bars on the video so the user can start or stop the video. So if you double click on the video, you'll notice that it opens up your options. And then you've got a few video options. And so we want the video to play automatically. And what we're going to do is we're going to show the video controls. So you can see I've got um, some options here. We'll do blow video. So now I've got my video in here. I might want to scale that down a little so it doesn't take up my space. I'll select the marker. I can frame this up so it looks really nice in here. And let's preview this and see what this looks like. So on this marker we see we have an animation. This marker has no animation. This marker opens automatically when we roll over. And it has text in it. And this marker is waiting for us to click on it. We click and then we can see the video plays. I can click and then that closes that. And that's basically it when you're working with markers. They're pretty straightforward. You've got those two parts. You have your marker and then you have your label. And then you can add text, pictures, or video. And then it's just a matter of where you want to use the markers. And then how do you want to use them. So go ahead and practice this activity. And then think of ways you can use the markers when you build your own courses.